there's just one more flavour of minor scale that we'd have to have a look at before we can fully understand, you know, all the different types of minor scale we might ever come across. And that is called the melodic minor scale. So before we were talking about the harmonic minor, now we're talking about the melodic minor. And so just as the name suggests, uh, the harmonic minor, as we said, was really good for building chords. And we'll probably be using it later on in this course to build chords to support melodies using the minor scale. The melodic minor scale is all about melodies. Now, if we have a listen to the harmonic minor scale again, and it's the one that I've got written here at the bottom of the screen, we'll hear that the top of the scale is quite sort of strange sounding. We haven't really heard anything that sounds like that before when we've been looking at scales. And a lot of composers sort of started to struggle to write melodies that they thought sounded smooth and, and elegant using this particular harmonic minor scale. And some composers did manage to do that, and Mozart was actually very good at using the harmonic minor scale to write some interesting melodies. But lots of other composers thought, you know, they wanted to produce something that was a little bit more fluid and a little bit more... Um, smooth than the harmonic minor scale could offer. So they made a couple of changes and that's what we'll be having a look at. So what is the melodic minor scale and how is it different from the other types of minor scale that we've already looked at? Well it's actually very similar to both the natural minor and harmonic minor in some ways. It's special in the fact that it's it does something different depending on which direction in pitch you're going. So if you're going from low to high, we do one thing on the on the scale. So if we're going up up, we might say in pitch, we would do we do one thing. And if we're going down, we do something different. And so um, if we're going up, so we're going from a low note to a high note, we're going up through the different notes of the scale. We do this. What we do is we take the sixth note of the scale and we sharp that as well. So with the harmonic minor, we made the seventh step of the scale. A one semitone higher into a sharp and we're going to do exactly the same if we're going up in the melodic minor scale. So on the way up this scale is going to go A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. So what about on the way down? Well what happens is we cancel out these two sharps that we've put in on the way up. So on the way up we've used an F sharp and a G sharp but on the way down what we're going to do is cancel those out and use a G natural and an F natural. So in fact what we're doing is using the standard notes of the natural minor scale that we looked at first. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's just have a listen to how that sounds on the way up and the way down. So we're going to start on an A and as we go up we're going to play a sharp and sixth step, sharp and seventh step and then we get to the first note of the scale again, we're back to the A. And then on the way down, we're going to cancel that out and play a G natural, F natural, E, D, C, B, A. So in all these different scales, in all three flavours, the first five notes are basically, well they are, they are exactly the same in all five. So the only bits that we change and we try different flavours of the scale is this bit round the top. So let's just have a listen one more time. So sharp six, sharp seven, and then normal white note natural notes on the way down again. So does this scale make it easier for us to write melodies? Well I think most of the time it probably does. It sort of takes out that awkward jump between the sixth and seventh steps of the harmonic minor scale. So take a listen to the harmonic minor scale one more time. So it's that step between the sixth and seventh notes that composers have sort of found a bit tricky. They've never quite managed to write effectively using those particular notes. So, you know, what the melodic minor does is it comes in and just smooths those out. So let me try and improvise a melody using the notes of the melodic minor scale. or something like that. Not necessarily the greatest melody ever composed in the history of music, but it shows the way that we can smooth out some of those awkward uh, features of the harmonic minor scale. 